We just finished our newest build. This one was very challenging. We had to fit in a lot of custom feature in a very small van. This is the Mercedes Printer 144 high roof. So this is the small model of uh, Mercedes printers. And we had to fit in a full flip seat for the customer to be able to bring his grandkids, a full kitchen and a shower. Let's have a look. So let's start with the back of the van. In the back of the van, you have a U-shaped bench. On the passenger side, you have all the electrical system. On the passenger, on the driver's side, you have all the plumbing system. This central table drops down to turn into a full bed. And one little detail that our customer wanted, wanted pillows that can turn into storage pillows. So we custom made some pillows with room inside to store clothes. So right now you only have paper, but you get the idea. Let's move to the kitchen area. In the kitchen area, you have a full-on sink with a custom-made cutting board in it to match the countertop. A flip-up countertop to extend the working area. Here you have three drawers, quite a lot of space under the sink. Our client wanted to have the option during the winter to not use the drain that goes directly in the grey water tank. So we made a system under the sink to unconnect the grey water tank and connect to a five gallon uh, container. So you do not have to deal with uh, a frozen grey water tank. On the driver's side, you have a Furion microwave, an Isotherm 130 for each drawer. And under the fridge, you have a special compartment for the porta potty cassette toilet. Now, let's get to it and talk about the custom shower inside the floor. Let's start by removing the carpet, removing the floor, setting up the shower curtain. Now that the shower curtain is installed, you can put the extension hose on the faucet. and enjoy your shower. So now let's have a look at how the flip seat works. So now you are fully legal on the road to drive with your grandkids. Are we there yet? So if you want to use the front part of the van as the kitchenette, you can swivel the passenger in the driver's seat lower the bench seat and use the lagoon table mount with the lagoon table here in the middle. And then for more privacy, you get some blackout curtains between the front area and the back, the living part of the van. You have some upper storage here in the upper cabinets. Above the headliner, we close the headliner and, make, and made a, a closing compartment. And you have upper cabinets above the benches in the back as well. So here this van gets a SPA diesel heater with a battery monitor for the Victron electric system and a water gauge for the 25 gallon water tank. There's a light switch at the entrance for convenience when you enter your van and an outside flip down table that goes over a little drawer like this, and if you need it to be more sturdy, you can just reinforce it with the string. So since this van has a U-shaped convertible bench, there is no underbed garage. 
but you still have your Furion electrical panel for your AC and DC fuses, your water monitor that goes with your plumbing system, the gravity fill, the option to blow out the lines to winterize, and your outdoor shower. So this van got a lot of outside custom add-ons. You get an owl van, a tire carrier with a back ladder, a side ladder, a cargo box, a roof rack, roof rack lights, a 120 volt AC and a max air fan. 